Hello everyone, in this video I will explain you step by step how to make column level encryption in the SQL database. It can be used in many different cases, especially when you need to secure some columns in your regular tables. For the beginning you should create a master key. Master key has a password which should be very secured and better to backup it somewhere. Otherwise would be very difficult to restore your data. So let's create a master key for test DB. Done. Then as usually as a second step let's create a test table, table 3. And uh, inside the table we have a regular person data person name, age and hobby and we created as well salary column uh, with the type var binary uh, and uh, we will use this table for storing encrypted salary. Then as a next step we should create a certificate in this case, uh, certificate uh, will be called my certificate one, and uh, we should create a symmetrical key based on the same certificate. And here we also should specify the algorithm how it will be encrypted. Done. Then, as a next step, we need to open the symmetrical key and insert values in the table 3 but inside the insert statement inside this insert command uh, we have one specific value it is over here here we will encrypt our figure by the symmetrical key and in the result, in the table, in the column salary, will be stored encrypted data. Let's execute it now. But please pay attention that before make an insert, you need to open a symmetrical key. Otherwise, nothing will be inserted. Done. Now let's take a look on the result. In order to make a query to the to the table with encrypted columns, we need first of all to open symmetrical key, then make a query itself. In this example, at the beginning, we will get all columns, and then at the end, we will add additional column with decrypted value. Of the salary. In order to do decryption we need to make conversion to the varchar and to place a command decrypted by key and indicate the salary. And then at the end we can close the symmetrical key. Let's execute it. So what we can see below that here we see the data, data it's itself and salary column are encrypted as you see and in the last one we have decrypted salary. Now our symmetrical key is closed so that's why if we will make a query to the table the last column will be null, nothing. So and uh, if you want to check the value then you need to open symmetrical key once again like you can see in this example. Now we are ready with the table, encrypted column and encrypted data inside. But we did all actions by system administrator, which has all rights to the database and encryption itself. In the real life, our users who has access to the database and to the data divided on powerful users and less powerful users. 
Now I will show you how to create users in the database and grant access to encrypted columns for them. So, first of all, in security module here, we need to create a basic user. We will name it reader and give a password crystal as usual. Then, first of all, we will grant access to the test DB as a reader, like this. Okay, done. Now, let's open another management studio. And we will log in to the management studio as a reader. Open the test DB, new query, and here in the query we will write the same uh, commands uh, like we did with system administrator. If we will execute right now the main query to the table 3, then we see that uh, salary column is visible but it's encrypted and the encryption is not working. And if we will try to open symmetric, symmetrical key, then we don't have an access. So how to grant an access? We need to go back uh, to the management studio with system administrator rights. And then we make a right click on the reader here, properties, Securables, search, all objects of the types, and here in the list we should choose certificates and symmetrical keys. In the list here we need to choose control, grant control for certificates and grant control to symmetrical key. Okay, then we switch back to the management studio with the reader rights and let's try to open symmetrical key once again. You see, it works. So that's why if we will execute this script once again, then we see decrypted salary columns. And uh, if we will execute it right now, when symmetrical key is closed, then you will not see it. So now you was able to see how to create a table with encrypted columns and how to create a users who can read from this table. I hope this video was useful. Take care. Bye-bye.